Hey everyone, it's Logan with Better at Beach. Today we're going to go through a quick demo from one of our camps here in St. Pete Beach, Florida. We'll talk a lot about chase footwork, a little bit about reading the attacker, making sure we're staying low and reacting to the ball and not cheating to where we think it's going to go. All right, everyone, today we are going to focus on a little bit of reading the attacker from a defensive perspective as well as some chase footwork, what exactly we want to do once that attacker hits their shot. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is where our eyes should be looking in order to give us the most information from the other team. Okay, if Ali is my defender, Ali just served the ball. Ali is going to step into the court. Okay, the first thing that Ali wants to be watching for, okay, is where this pass is going to go. Okay, that'll just give her a little bit of information as to how clean and in system the other team is going to be. Okay? The second piece of information, Allie needs to be looking at this setter. Okay? She can gather a lot of information. One of the most important, is this setter going to attack on two? Okay? Some people are able to disguise that really well. Others really show it super early. Okay? Is this setter going to bump set or hand set? Okay? Both of those things are going to play into how she's going to read this attacker. Okay, notice when she's reading this on two attack, Allie is staying neutral in the middle of the court. If Allie takes her immediate step over into the line here, okay, this setter is gonna see that and now they have all of this open court. Okay, so Allie wants to make sure that she stays neutral until she sees that set released. Okay, so she can gather a lot of information. Again, are they hand setting? Are they bump setting? Are they gonna set from way off the net? If I'm setting from way off the net, now this attacker isn't going to have a lot of vision, okay? Because the attacker is having to look at the ball and not at alley. If this sets in a perfect spot, now the attacker is coming in and they're able to see alley, okay? So alley's going to have to make a little bit later of a move if she's going to make a move, okay? Once that set goes up, alley knows it's not going to be a two ball. She's going to shift in, okay? If, if alley is has a line block, okay? She's going to shift into this angle. Allie wants to take my line of approach here. Okay, so notice Allie's not staying in the middle of the court because if Allie was in the middle of the court, she would be covered up by Brandon's inside hand. Okay, so as a defender, I need to make sure that I'm not behind my blocker at all because now we're both covering the same part of the court. And there's a lot of court to cover. We don't need to both cover the same exact spot. Okay, so Allie's gonna shift in. Okay, Allie's gonna make sure that she gets fully stopped by the time that I'm contacting this ball. Okay, this is absolutely key on defense. If Allie's still moving and shuffling as I'm contacting, there's no way that she's gonna be able to change direction in order to run down a shot. Okay, so we're making sure that we're stopped on contact every single time. Okay, the last little bits of information that Allie's gonna get are going to come from what my approach and what my arm swing looks like. So if I approach and I approach really slow and not very aggressive, Allie knows it's going to be a shot. She can be a little bit more loose back there and ready to move. Okay, if I approach really hard coming into swing, okay, Allie's going to dig in and she's going to dig that hard driven ball. Okay, she can anticipate that shot a little bit more. Okay, same thing. If I approach and my shoulders are facing way over here into the angle, Allie's going to take a little shuffle step, little shuffle step, okay, because now my, my most likely tendency is to hit a cut shot, okay? Again, Allie doesn't want to totally sell out. If I think, oh, okay, I think a cut shot's happening here, I don't want to immediately stand up and run to the cut shot because now every other shot is wide open, okay? You're not always going to make the perfect read. So instead, I'm just making a little bit of move to put myself in a slightly better position to take away that most likely shot. Okay, so I'm here. If I see them kind of drop their elbow, especially if it's a player who has a high tendency to hit a cut shot, um, there was a guy, Chris, here last uh, camp, and we call him Cut Shot Chris because Cut Shot Chris hit a cut shot on like 90% of plays. So if I was playing Cut Shot Chris, I still don't want to stand up and immediately just run to the cut shot because now cut shot Chris might become high line Chris for one play, okay? But I do maybe want to take this little shuffle step, again, still stopped low and balanced when that, our opponent is hitting this shot. 
because now I am in a better position to dig the cut shot, right? I have a higher percentage of getting to this short ball, but if they hit a bad high line, I can still run that shot down as well. Okay, so I'm not making a big exaggerated move. I'm just taking this little move to get me just like a foot or two closer to that shot. Our first drill, we will have a coach or player initiating a high line shot. So Allie's gonna start in a neutral position. I am going to slap the ball on the slap. Allie's gonna shuffle into her angle defense. Spencer, yeah, you wanna block here for me? Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna slap. Allie's gonna shuffle in. She's gonna hold, run down that high line, perfect. Notice when Allie runs down this shot, she is opening her shoulders completely to where the ball is going. Okay, some of us have this kind of, and you're gonna laugh at me when I do it, but a lot of people have this, is we like to like keep our shoulders and our head facing the net here, okay? My neck can operate this way, okay? I don't need my shoulders to be facing the ball. The fastest way for me to go from point A to point B is to do the exact same footwork that we do when we're doing our warmups. Okay, so even though we haven't really talked about chase footwork, you've been practicing chase footwork every single warm-up. Right, when we're doing our warm-ups, I don't see a lot of you guys going, here, I'm gonna run like this. Right, maybe Monday I saw a little bit of that, but now I don't see it as much, right? So I'm gonna be here, if my shot is going that direction, I'm gonna fully open my hips and my shoulders, and I'm gonna stay low to the ground, actually descending as I go through this ball. So Ali's gonna shuffle through. Good. Notice how when Allie laid down to make that dig, there wasn't like this big belly flop motion, right? Because she's getting lower to the ground as she goes. Okay, the reason we have you guys do those lay down digs is because those are the, the moves that we want you to make. But in order to get to that low position, like we start you in here, we have to already be in that, that really sunken position. Otherwise, we're having to go from way up here all the way to the ground. Okay, I'm not gonna make Allie show what that looks like because she almost hurt herself last time. All right, let's see one bad one here, Allie. You ready? Okay. Yes, there should never be a point where you're fully airborne. Okay, fully airborne is gonna hurt because then you're gonna land really hard. Okay, I'm, I'm crawling through the sand to finish that move. I'm not going up and then down, okay? We're gonna shuffle and then cut shot, okay? Shuffle to her spot. Big cut shot, good, Allie. Great dig, Allie. One more. Dig the cut shot. Good, good, good work by Allie there. Our second drill, okay? Allie's not gonna know where my attacker is going. Okay, so she's gonna have to hold, not try to guess, okay? I'm gonna try to fake her into thinking I'm hitting a different shot. She's gonna have to stay really disciplined and just react to where the ball goes, okay? Allie's going. Good, good Allie, good hold. Take it, thank you. One more. Okay. Oh, it's too good, good touch, good touch, Allie. So one thing I want you guys to notice, okay, Allie, can you go back into the angle? Um, I want you to go slow motion uh, chase footwork across to that line. Okay, notice how Allie is, and then she didn't have to do a full lay down here. Okay, but she's about two to three steps and a lay down from the line at all times. Okay, you guys can cover a lot of ground if you make those steps efficient. Okay, can you go to a cut shot here, Allie? One, two, lay down. Okay, and she's starting pretty deep in the court. She's not close to the net there but she's still able to fully dig this cut shot because she's moving efficiently and low to the ground, okay? Um, last drill in this sequence would be kind of like a king of the court wave through, only we will initiate it with a rundown dig and then we'll play it out live from there. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed that quick demo. Make sure if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so you see all of our new videos that come out.